Welcome back to the Man Cave, welcome back to Man Cave Gaming, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Alpha 16, uh, Episode 2. Alright, so, <clears throat> last week, our intrepid team started the game, and we took over this house, which we're going to turn into a base, and so, I guess we're going to continue, and, ooh, it's still, it's uh, daytime, so... We've got some time to maybe go and explore a little bit more and uh, see if we can find a few more useful items that might make our life a little bit easier. And then, uh, how did I get out? Where is it? Ah, there we are. Okay, down the stairs. And yeah, so here we go. Oh, and this is a great spot. This is like a really, really good spot Ooh, to set up shop. Now, before we do anything, we need a new axe. So we're going to make a new axe. Now, what are you doing, sir? Oh, come on. Oh, I really don't like these crawlers. I don't like them at all. Oh, I do like that, though. Going to bite me. Just bite me. Cool. So yeah, here we are back at the man cave. I am psyched. I've got about four hours of gaming ahead of me. And I'm gonna try and put together a whole bunch of episodes for you. And get a little bit of this seven days to die action happening. And I might have mentioned in the first episode, I'm not an expert in this game by any means. Uh, a lot of Let's Players that are extremely good at playing, they're good at resource management, they're good at, uh oh, I'm stunned! Yeah, they're really good at playing the game. Uh, I'm not, and <laughs> as we go along, it's really going to become apparent, particularly as things get more difficult. That um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Now, that's fine because I think part of what I'm trying to do is be the everyman, be the be the, the, the regular Joe who just likes to, you know, pick up the controller and and have a have a, a crack at uh, at these amazing games. Because that's what that's what the man cave is all about. The man cave is all about just just having fun. Being irresponsible for a little while, anyway, and uh, embracing the inner, the inner, the inner child, I guess. Oh, what's going on down here? So yeah, so as you as you watch my my series, um, I really would appreciate any assistance you can render, any advice. I'll make, I'll try and read all of the uh, comments. And, and and respond to them. Hello. Oh, here we go. And and yeah, and, and try and get better as I go along. Make make the gameplay more entertaining for you. Uh, but you know, try and keep a sense of a sense of fun and, and, and wonder, bewilderment as we go along. Uh, well Because, you know, I think that's what that's what playing games is is all about, is it not? It's about adventure. It's about excitement. It's about fun. It's not necessarily just about getting it perfect all the time. Uh, okay. So I really need to concentrate here. Whee! There we go. That's a nice headshot. That's one thing I, I have realized with this game is if you can get good at hitting zombies in the head, you're not going to have to fight them for as long. Oh, okay. Time to throw down some old fashioned. Old fashioned. Kneeling. Okay. Not a lot of loot. Not a lot of loot. But look, it is the zombie apocalypse. And I guess I have to be, uh, I have to be realistic about what to expect. 
Now, I think I've realised what's happened here. As I lose stamina, my blows do less damage. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to, uh, well, how to manage that as I go along. There we go. Okay. Now, another thing I failed to do in the first episode was introduce myself. And those of you who, who, who are still watching, you're probably thinking, well, this is all good and well, but who is this guy? Well, my name's Mo. You can call me Mo. And uh, I am a lifelong gamer. I've been playing video games since I was, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe five or six years old. And uh, my dad bought home uh, Commodore 64. And that was it. My love affair with video gaming began, and, and it's never stopped. And uh, I am quite comfortable in saying I'm into my fifth decade on this planet, and I still feel like when I find a new game that really speaks to me, I still feel like that, that five-year-old who was playing Manic Miner on his Commodore 64, back in the 80s, Manic Miner, what a great game. Miner 69, that was another one too, a lot of Miner games, very strange. Anyway, maybe that's why Minecraft is so, so popular. Oh, hello! I really need to craft another club, because I'm going to run out of, I'm going to run out of uh, arrows pretty soon. Oh, this is not good. There we go. Okay. Now, that is how you do it. That's how you do it. All right. Let's see if I can get another wooden club here. Boop, boop, boop. Some more ammo. Okay. Excellent. Oh, now what have I got in my inventory here? This isn't good. Look at all this stuff. Um... I probably should eat something. Let's just tidy this up real quick. Because, ooh, do I need that? How's my, uh, what have I got here? Ten. Uh, I'm feeling, I think I'm feeling okay. Look, I'll wear it, see what happens. Uh, yeah, uh, do I need the pine cones? Probably. I'll get rid of them though. Antibiotics. Do I need that for antibiotics? Ooh, I can make antibiotics at a chemistry station. I should keep that. I probably need something else, but anyway. All right, time to be time to be careful. What do we got here? Okay. So, whoop. Hey. So the mission today is just to no. It's just to. Uh, Get through the day, not die, <laughs> not, not have my face chewed off, and uh, just try and get a little bit of extra resources and some cool stuff. What is that club? Oh, there it is. Uh, Some extra resources so I can get myself a good night's sleep, wake up in the morning, and uh, start my adventure again the next day. Now, whoa, whoa, he's excited. The, uh, the, the, the one thing I've read in this, if you really want to be successful in this game, is to never be idle. And I've never liked being an idol. Or idle. Uh, I think idolization is unhealthy. But never be idle. Always be doing something. And I guess if you think about it, the world was coming to an end. And the grand apocalypse occurred. Uh, yeah, you'd have to be... Keep yourself pretty busy. So that's, again, what I intend to do. Ooh, gun safe. Now, 
Youch. That's going to take a long time to get open. I think I might have to come back to that guy. Uh, Sledgehammer could be useful. We need Robert Palmer here. Or was that Peter Gabriel? No, Peter Gabriel. <laughs> oh, man. Robert Palmer? What did he do? Anyway, someone will write. Sure, surely someone will correct me in the uh, in the comments. I'm carrying around a lot of stuff. Should I go back to the house and, and ditch this? Maybe I should. Yeah, well let's just, let's finish looting this house and then we might go back to the base and uh, build a storage chest and offload. Because uh, inventory management, inventory management is what it's all about. In games like this, really, really important to make sure. See, already, boom. Already, I'm, I'm starting to run out of space here. Should I put these shorts on? Ooh, I wonder what they look like. How are we looking? How's our ensemble coming together? Yeah, I like it. I really like it. All I need now is some, uh, some stilettos, maybe. I could really tie it all together. What do we got in here? I love the spiky hair too. Uh, okay. Anyway, so now did I see a ladder going up? I did. Here we go. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. But you know, if you're going to sit around and just let someone sneak up on you, you're going to get an arrow through the skull. Okay, let's open up this box. Oh, buddy. Uh, ugh, okay, what do we need here? Do I need glue? What can I make? I can make duct tape. Cool. How about that? That was awesome. Okay, now I can have the birdies. All right, let's open up this box. And... Ooh, working stiffs. Ooh, a paintbrush. And a painting book. Well, we can read that. Painting masonry is now level one. That is superb. Uh, come on, we've got to make some room treasure map. We won't, uh, we won't look at that yet because, shall I just, I might just eat. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're getting a bit hungry. Okay. That wasn't a bad little loot. Oh! Jeez, I fell. Okay, let's go home. And uh, we'll offload what we found. I like some chrysan chrysanthemums. <laughs> chrysanthemums. 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 If you know the uh, correct, correct pronunciation of that word, let me know. Uh, another thing I need to do is a ladder, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, was that a bird? No, I've already looked in there. My escape hatch is up there, I think. Or is it around the other side? Uh, where is it? Make sure there's no zomboids. Yes, it's around the other side. So I need a ladder get up there. Now I could do it with some uh, wooden frames. I could build some wood frames and put them up and then that's really cool because then you can pull them up as you go. Uh, but I think what I might do is just for the hoys of it, blunderbuss. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I might just put a little ladder up and uh, get rid of this because that's going to block my ladder. Oh. <sighs> Man, okay. Well, this is this is a bit of a waste of time. Anywho, uh, can we put the ladder up? Yes, we can. Do 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 do. Okay. Come on. Out of the way, sir. Ah, oh, nearly there. 
Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. And I need, what do I need? I need a block to go in there. And I'll put that down there. Okay. <laughs> I can already imagine how many people. There must be so many people just losing their minds. What is he doing? He's a maniac. I told you. I told you, folks. I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the times, but I'm having a hell of a good time doing it. And uh, and I'm one for the I'm one for the anti heroes here. Oh, look at that! How cool! I thought I scrapped this. Obviously, I didn't. TV, big screen TV. Uh, okay. Where is the ladder? Ah, <laughs> here we go. Okay. So we're going inside here and up the ladder. Yes. And here we are. So cool. Okay. Uh, I need a chest. I need some storage. Uh, 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 -oh. got no room. What am I going to drop? Let's put the gunpowder down. And let's put the seeds down. Okay. I could probably make some ammo as well. Yeah. Very good. Okay, first bit of storage. Here we go. We might put it there. So, whew. Okay, let's stash some of our stuff. Uh, what do we need? Oh, bedroll. We need to put that down. Do 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 do, uh, do, do, I'll keep the rest, might keep some food, time for a drink, we better have a drink, yeah, okay, okay, let's put our bedroll down, because if we inevitably, not if, when, <laughs> when we're murdered by some vicious zombies, uh, we'll have somewhere to, uh, to come back to, which would be nice. Oh, okay. Now we might actually do. We might actually do our quests. Shall we do our quests? Let's do them. Craft our stone axe because that fella's about to. That fella's about to burn out. So let's do that. We might do our quests as we, as we merrily roll along. So let's go and do a little bit more. A uh, little bit more looting. That's what I wanted to say. Looting. And, and, and I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the loot. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we are we do have to make a base. I understand that. I understand that uh, it's a dangerous world that, we, uh, that we're that we in, that we find ourselves in. And at some point, uh, because, you know, the, the, name of the, the name of the game is Seven Days to Die, I'm more than aware that at some point, Seven Days... Uh, I'm going to see some serious trouble come my way. So, you know, I'm very aware of that. So I am going to be attempting to build some kind of Am I Gone Funerals. Ah, clever. Uh, I'm going to be attempting to, yeah, to, you know, prepare for that. But at the same time, I want to explore. You know, I'm not going to just drill a hole in the ground and hide. Um, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to see the world. I'm a young man. I've still got plenty of life to live. This is what it's about. Sure, the world has gone to an apocalyptic hell. Sure. But there's more to the world than just digging a hole in the ground and hiding and waiting for the inevitable end. So, yeah, I'm going to do some exploring. Uh, I'm making a bit of noise here, so I think it's almost inevitable that... Um, I'm going to see some action, but uh, let's just see what let's just see what what, what happens for the time being. Uh, it's all looking pretty quiet, although I don't like how dark it is. That's a bit spooky. Um, but anyway, let's loot. Let's loot. We are still. 
I need. I am very mindful of the fact that I am infected. Uh, for those of you who watched episode one, you would remember that I got a little cocky and I had a little bit of a dance with one of the zombies, and they took a well, they took a shine to my to my uh, uh, extremities and gave them a little bit of a tickle. Um, I might just whack this zomboid because. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Nurses. I really like nurses. Big fan. Because, now I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that if I keep finding nurses and I get lucky, I might find either some antibiotics or uh, some honey or something that I can use to, uh, to fix that. Anyway, now, just over here I've noticed my uh, my quests. So let's just let's knock these quests over because that that'll just help point us in the direction of our trader, our first trader that we need to go to. Uh, oh, that was useful, cooking pot. So I don't mind a little bit of cooking occasionally. Oh, here we go. Hello. Oh. There we go. You know what they say, putrid girl. If you're gonna play with the big boys, you better be ready to tank to tango. <laughs> That's not what they say. That's not what they say at all. I'm sure they, that no one's ever said that. Uh, okay, well we're gonna wear all this stuff just for the moment, even though I do have uh, more appropriate clothing that I'm going to put back on. Once I've, um, I like the mining helmet actually, and I'm pretty sure if I, if I, what do I want? Do I want? Yeah, I think I might have that. Uh, if I put the mining helmet on, I've got a, a torch. Have I not? Uh, I might keep those. They might come in useful. The old nails. Scrappity scrap. Scrappity scrap. Oop! Don't need the chair. That's a hell of a thing to drag around. Share. Uh, I'm sure someone's out, someone out there can probably tell me, but what button do I press for... Uh, what button do I press for... Uh, let me have a look. This is really bad what I'm about to do here. Flashlight! F. F. Yeah. Now... There is a zombie. There's got to be a zombie in here, surely. Yep, there they are. Nope. <laughs> you can't shoot through the wall, dude. All right. We'll turn the light off. Well, that was a good thing to learn. If you shine a light in a zombie's eyes, they don't like it. Anyway, all right. Well, you know the consequences of waking up the zombies. You're going to have to fight. Oh, it's already 8.30. Wow. Time flies when you are not doing much. Okay. Um, should I? What should I do? Should I? Maybe I should just hit her. I could help her. Whoosh. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> what is that? That's amazing. Oh, these guys are pretty wacky. I wonder if they're going to come out. What are they doing? What are they doing? That was a, that was fantastic. Ooh, did I kill her? I think I did. Oh, they sound really cranky. I don't know what they are. Now I have to be very very careful here. Because those guys look supremely scary. Uh, they look... What's really interesting though is that they don't seem to be interested in me at all. This guy just wants to just wants to talk to the 
the wall. Oh no! I thought I got him. Uh oh! Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. Get out. Get out. Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? No. Whew. I don't think I'm bleeding. Oh man. That was really, really silly. Come on. Come on. Just, just stand still. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, what I want to do here, this is really interesting, is that this is other guys in here. And uh, I think he's in that, he's in that room. But he's trying to get through. Maybe he's trying to get through here. I don't know. It's weird. But there were two of them. Were there two of them? You know what? I need to go to the toilet, actually. <laughs> I need to go. Oh, I can't see here. Okay. What should I do? Should I just open this door and have a wall and have a look? Let's have a look. Let's just have a look. Oh, okay. So what do we got in there? Is there someone in there? Oh, I don't like this. I'll open up this and have a look. Ooh. It's really... I'm not very good at telling the difference between uh, where sounds are coming from in this game. So I need to learn how to do that a little bit better because it's sort of... It's very difficult to to get a sense of it. Um, wow. So there's nothing in there. Okay. Well, I've really got to keep an eye on the clock as well because... Well, okay. Well, someone's definitely around. Maybe they're outside. Ah, okay. I think that's what the dealio is. They're outside. No? No. Mm -hmm. This is... Okay. Well, I'm not going to... I'm not going to worry too much about it because, to be honest, it's getting close to uh, to Nat, and uh, I'm yeah. I think I'm going to play it safe here, uh, Man Cavers, and I'm going to get back to my base. Uh, I'm just going to finish off my ladder and get upstairs and do a little bit of crafting, a little bit of prep. So I'll get myself a frame here. And uh, get myself a bit of prep. There we go. And we got some ladders. We need some ladders. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just need a few. And uh, here we go. Ladder. 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 Oh, one more. And, uh, all right. And there we are. Back home, safe and sound. Okay, well, I might call it quits here. Thanks for watching, guys. That was episode two of Seven Days to Die Alpha from the Man Cave Gaming channel on YouTube. So, um, if you liked what you saw, kick that like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe so that you can keep up with what we're up to. But until next time, peace!